And for the first time, a member of the Teamsters spoke at the RNC. One political expert says his invitation is part of a change in the Republican Party. Matty Franz explains why that speech is about more than partisan politics. Today, the Teamsters are here to say we are not beholden to anyone or any party. Sean O'Brien, president of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, made history Monday. It's an honor to be the first Teamster in our 121-year history to address the Republican National Convention. But Paul Baumgartner, professor of political science at Augustana College, says it was an unconventional speech. It's not the kind of speech that you would have seen at an RNC at any time during my life. The American people aren't stupid. They know the system is broken. He was railing against the elite, against corporate welfare, talking about, obviously, the importance of unions. He says the crowd recognized the difference, too. Some of the reception to his speech wasn't as warm as the reception to other RNC speakers. While the Teamsters haven't endorsed either presidential candidate, Baumgartner says the speech was a way to encourage both political parties to work together. The Teamsters are not interested if you have a D, R or an I next to your name. We want to know one thing. What are you doing to help American workers? Baumgartner also says O'Brien's invitation indicates the Republican Party's recent shift towards populism. There are even some policy stances that we now see people like J.D. Vance or Josh Hawley or Donald Trump taking that Ronald Reagan would not have taken. He says the GOP is trying to pull a different group of voters. So there is a fight right now over the white working class, I think more broadly, the working class vote. Baumgartner says that includes union and non-union workers. Maddie Franz, WQAD News 8. State Senator Neil Anderson, who is also a firefighter and a union member, weighed in on the speech. He says, quote, a growing number of union workers have realized President Trump and the Republican Party share their core values and won't take their votes for granted. Now, we reached out to State Representative Mike Halpin, a Democrat who has historically supported unions. He was not available for comment.